Okay, today I want to show you how you can restore your yellow, dingy, faded, scratched uh, plastic headlights using things you may already have around the house or if you don't, uh, for less than 10 bucks um, from materials you can get at literally anywhere. Walmart, Lowe's, um, really you're just buying a can of paint and some sandpaper if you don't already have it. Uh, you can see my left headlight that I did a couple weeks ago. I wanted to make sure it was going to work out before I um, began this process. But um, So here's what my headlight looks like right now. Uh, this is on an 11-year-old vehicle, and uh, it looks pretty faded and dingy and um, yellow. So what I'm going to start with doing, I'm simply going to use the water hose. that makes it a lot easier because we're going to be wet sanding. I'm putting a little detergent on it, and I'm just going to scrub the headlight before we go any further. Uh, this is important because if there's... If there are bugs or dirt or something stuck on the lens, when you begin to sand, if that were to get caught between the sandpaper, it could cause some pretty deep gouges in the headlight lens um, that you may not be able to get out with sandpaper. So it doesn't hurt anything especially. So before you get started, go ahead and scrub your headlight really good. Make sure it's as clean as you can possibly get it with soap uh, before we begin the process. Now the, the three pieces of sandpaper you're going to need, you're going to need some 400 grit sandpaper. You're going to need some... 600 to 800 grit sandpaper anywhere in there will work fine and then you're going to need some uh, something in the range of 2000 uh, 2000 grit 2500 those will all work fine so if you're worried about the paint on your vehicle i recommend that you tape off around the headlight um, the way my headlights are on three sides you can't even touch the paint i've got rubber gaskets and and the bumper um, on the top you can and i'm not that worried about my paint i'll show you in a little bit how to tape it off but if you're worried about scratching the paint, I recommend you tape it off with some painter's tape before you get started. Uh, it's going to be ruined when you get done, and you're going to have to retape it for the final stage. But if you don't want to scratch your vehicle, make sure you do that before you go any further. Now, the first thing I'm doing right here, I'm simply going to sand with some 400 grit sandpaper. And you want to use medium pressure. You don't want to use too much pressure because 400 grit... Uh, could make some pretty deep gouges all by itself. Um, but you do want to sand uh, any scratches that you have, gouges. You want to do your best to sand them out. And you also want to make sure that when you're done sanding, there's no yellow or fading on your headlight. You've got to, it's going to look rough when you're done, but you want to make sure that you've gotten all the gouges out and that the yellowing and all that's gone. Now here's what it looks like after a 400 grit and allowing it to dry. So now I'm going to repeat the same process using this is 600 grit sandpaper so i'm going to simply do the exact same thing i'm going to sand making sure i get uh, all around the edges and making sure that um, you cover the entire lens that 400 grit leaves some pretty deep grooves and you're going to need this 600 to smooth them out and once again after letting it dry it looks very similar so our last step when it comes to the sandpaper is with the 2000 grit or 2500 grit whatever you can find you're simply going to repeat the process for the last time. Um, and this is going to leave, you'll have a pretty smooth lens when you're done with this. It's still going to look uh, really hazy um, from uh, the sandpaper. But when you get done with the 2000 grit, it should look, uh, it should feel pretty smooth to your hand. So once that dries, you're going to see you've got the uh, typical haze as before. And now I'm going to tape off around it because we're going to be painting. Again, if you're worried about your paint, you probably should have done this before you got started, even though you'll most likely need to repeat the process if you use the water hose like I did, just because the tape's going to be um, soaking wet. Um, but you want to tape off around the entire headlight. And once you tape off, make sure you get the tape as close as you can to the edges of the headlight. Um, if you can take the headlights out of your vehicle, a lot of these headlights pop out. Some of them pop out with a single little... Uh, push tab or pull tab you pull a tab and the headlight pops out that would be ideal if you could pop it out you could work on it in the house in the comfort of your air conditioning but if not um, you're going to want to tape around it uh, mainly you're putting on this first layer of tape right here just to give yourself something to bond to when we have to we've got to put some plastic around it um, just to keep the paint the overspray from the paint um, we've got to keep that off of the vehicle so you can use, I'm using basically just grocery store bags. You can obviously use those. You can use a trash bag or a plastic paint drop cloth, whatever, whatever you need to use to keep the paint from um, overspraying onto the rest of your vehicle. And 
I also recommend that once we get to the painting that you either do this somewhere where you don't have a lot of wind, uh, either in a garage or a controlled environment. Um, but if the wind is blowing, uh, it can wreak havoc for you. You'll kind of see the wind blowing a little bit in this video, uh, blowing the bags around. But the last thing you want when you're painting is for one of those bags to fly up and stick to the wet paint. So that's why I said it's important. So let's get this finished tape, taping off with the uh, plastic to make sure we're not going to overspray on anything we care about. Um, on my vehicle, I opened the hood, which uh, means any overspray on the left there is just going to go into the engine compartment, which I don't really, I'm not really worried about. But now that we've got it taped off, we're going to get you're going to need to pick up a can of Rust-Oleum or Krylon makes a very similar product. It's clear gloss and make sure it says that it bonds to plastic or that it's okay for plastic. Now I really like the Rust-Oleum because it actually says that it's UV and fade resistant. Um, I have no idea how long this is going to last. I suspect this would uh, easily last you for a year or more. Um, I've only been running it for less than a month and obviously noticed no differences. But when you paint it, make sure you do, you want to do thin, even coats covering the entire thing. Do not try to soak and saturate it. We're going to put three coats on here. So you do not need to soak it and get runs in it because then you've just made a mess. It's going to be even harder. But make sure you get complete coverage. We're going to let that dry for about 20 minutes. And as you can see, the headlight already looks better than it did before. Now, still got some work to do. So we're going to put a second coat and I'm just following the directions on this can. If you picked up a, a different brand, um, follow those directions. So I'm waiting 20 minutes between recoats and basically it just says that uh, you need to uh, recoat within one hour um, for the rust oleum. So I'm going to put my second coat on there. Again, you want a nice light coat. Don't try to soak it on there. And now that it's dry, I'm going to put my last coat and you can already tell how much better it looks just with two coats. So this is my third coat and uh, I only did three coats because I think that's sufficient. However, you might could achieve even better results with a fourth coat. I don't think these needed it. Um, but we're going to put our fourth coat on there and then I'm going to let it dry. It needs 48 hours to dry and then let's take a look what it looks like 48 hours later. So here we go, 48 hours later. Looks good as new, all for less than 10 bucks. And here's a nice before and after. So you can see what you can get for no more than um, 10 bucks at Walmart or anywhere else. All right, hope this helped. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.